In this example, I'm running GNS3 version 2.0.0 beta 3. In version 2.0 of GNS3, we have the option to export a portable project and import portable projects. I'm going to select Export Portable Project. And I'm asked, would you like to include any base images? The project will not require additional images to run on another host. However, the resulting file will be much bigger. It is also your responsibility to check if you have the right to distribute the images as part of the project. And in this example, I'm going to include the base images. So I'm going to save this as DMVPN1. Under my downloads directory and click save. So we could give this a name of test project DMVPN1 and specify other information here in the readme file and click save. The project is then exported. So in my downloads directory, I have the DMVPN1 GNS3 project file available. It's 226 meg in size. And I'll go to my Windows PC and start up GNS3. So in GNS3 on my Windows PC, I'm gonna click import portable project. I'm going to select DMVPN, which is the file that I exported on my Mac. And I'm going to click open. Click OK to accept the project name. Files are then imported. The GNS3 GUI contacts the GNS3 VM and files are uploaded to the GNS3 VM. So GNS3 is now importing the project files and uploading them to the GNS3 VM. As you can see, the project has now been imported from GNS3 running on my Mac to GNS3 running in Windows. And I could simply start up this topology and continue working on this topology in Windows in the same way as if I was working on my Mac. So that was a quick demonstration of how to export and import portable projects in GNS3 version 2.0. It's now easier than ever to share projects with others. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it was of benefit to you, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.